you know, extremely proud of those kids uh, for the effort, the toughness, you know, uh, to battle the way that they did. Um, you know, they went on a run and took the lead there for a second, and uh, our kids just stayed tough and battled, and uh, obviously extremely proud of them. The uh, lead was right after Tony picked up that fourth foul, and then you, you guys go on like a seven or eight nothing run. Uh, it says a lot about your team. Yeah, it, and that's the thing. We, we've always, you know, obviously Tony averaged a lot of points in Kyle, but we've always been, you know, a team first mindset. We believe that we have, you know, a really good team, not just one or two guys. And, and letting those guys play confident like that throughout the year really helped them, uh, you know, step up and make some big shots for us. Uh, they got it down to one, had a shot in the air there, and then uh, after you guys, I think maybe there was a foul on the rebound or something, and Trevante went to the line, sunk all six. So the, obviously, it's kind of what you expect from him, though, right? Yeah, you know, he, he like I said, even just the fact that he's out there playing with that mask and dealing with that, I mean, he's just a tough kid all the way around. So, uh, you know, he, he came up with a huge loose ball, but just the, the confidence, you know, drill those free throws, um, yeah, it, it was pretty special. I could probably go through every single player here, and we'd have a lot to say about him, but... Uh, uh, Adam Barrett was somebody I thought really stepped uh, stepped up. You know, double digit points doesn't do that a lot, and then uh, his defense too. Yeah, and we kind of talked to him this week about, hey, you know, we think that they're gonna help really hard off of you with Tony and some other guys. So you got to be aggressive, looking for your shot and making some plays. And uh, he did that, you know. And he's a kid who's, you know, he's played varsity for three years and started, so he's been in that moment too. So he really gives a huge spark plug. Uh, offensively, but and then on the defensive side, Morell's such a good player, but Adam just made him work for everything, you know, and that might have been the difference in that last shot that was a little bit short for him. So, Such a, you know, a season-long journey to get here, obviously, after last year, you were so close to getting to state. Um, how do you think, uh, how do you approach this state tournament now? Yeah, expectation goals for that? Uh, yeah, you know, we're definitely going to just enjoy this one tonight and take a couple days to recover, but um, you know, we're, we're going to go down there to make a run at it and win the whole thing. I mean, there, there's no other way, you know, to pre pre prepare besides that. So, uh, you know, be excited to see who our matchup is and then uh, take a couple days of rest and then, you know, get to work at it. Coach, thanks a lot. Congrats. All right. Thank you very much. All right. I got some uh, left open a couple times. I took some lanes, took advantage of it, what the defense was giving me. Tell me about your defensive uh job on Connor Mural. It's not an easy guard at all. He's 6'5". You're a little shorter than that and he's quick. You're quick too, but tell me about how, how you kind of approach that. I mean, he's a great player. He can do inside outside. I just got to stay physical and keep him, try to limit his touches. Aside from all that, your senior year, you're going to the state tournament. What's, what's, it, what's it feel like? It's crazy. You know, didn't get to do it last year, but now we get it this year. Experience it all. Adam, congratulations. Thank you. How feeling? It was crazy, man. The environment was just great. Stayed focused as a team, played through the, the refs and all the other things, everything that we had needed to play against, and just played great. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's, uh, early on, you hit a couple of shots. How big was that for you, confidence-wise? Very confident. We came in confident. Coach said that because we, we practice hard. We shoot shots all day during practice, so stay confident. So that's all we had to do, and that's what we did when we came out. Tony goes out with four fouls early in the third, uh, and you guys responded right away with like a 7-0 run or something like that. What, what goes through your guys' head when you lose you know, your big man, Tony, your leading scorer? What, what do you guys uh, kind of do differently? Differently, we bring in Trey Nixon. He played great minutes for us, great minutes. And we just stay focused like, like what we was going to do in the beginning. If anything happens, I mean, can't plan to just have our five in. I mean, if Tony got out, so we just played the game we need to play. Justin, congrats. We'll see you in Des Moines. Thank you. Uh, it's a heart. It, it was a heartbreaker last year, you know. But uh, I'm glad that we got it, got our revenge. You know, I was kind of hoping that North one, so we can go back. Oh yeah. Just <laughs> everything, man. But um, what well, where was that? Uh, <laughs> I was, going through your head, you know, you're talking about how it feels. Oh yeah, it feels great. It feels great because this is the position that we should have been in last year. But you know, we realized. I'm kind of glad that it happened last year because it made us realize that each possession counts. You know, and uh. We can't take anything for granted. We gotta, we gotta take care of the ball. You know, it's it's a prized possession, and uh, basically we just, we just, um, I don't even know right now. I'm so happy. My my brain is just gone. But uh, basically, you know, this is a position that we should have been in last year, and I'm glad not only for the team but for the fans coming out to every game, for the coaching staff, the countless hours that we put in. I'm just, I'm just glad. Uh, you go to the line there, six straight free throws, made them all. Tell me what's going through your head when you step there to the line. 
Nothing really, you know. Uh, that's why I made them because I didn't really think about it. You know, I shoot free throws every day. It's the same routine. So, you know, I'm just going to knock them down. It's like nothing else. Uh, Tony goes out with a fourth fourth foul there early in the third quarter, and see, suddenly you guys just kind of spark to life there just a little bit, you know, 7-0 run or something like that after they took a lead. How were you able to just kind of get over it, which was a pretty bad call, and then him sitting down too? You know, uh, we trust each player on the team. That's why they're on varsity, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's either sink or swim. And basically, when you're sinking, you don't panic, you know. And, uh, you know, we, we just don't panic because we, we trust each player, you know. And Trey Nixon came in and played a huge minute. Shout out to him. Uh, but basically, you know, he, he goes out. Trey puts in countless hours. So we trust him just as well as we trust Tony. And Tony came in on offense, you know, switching out alternate uh, offense and defense. So, so it was just a good environment. First trip to the state tournament, plane wise anyway. Uh, what do you what do you expect to see? What, what do you expect gonna it's gonna be like? Uh, really, I never worried like worry about the other teams. You know, we got to go and handle our business. You know, we can't have personnel. You know, like uh, be selfish or anything. We just got to play our game. Nothing's gonna change, and if nothing changes, then we're gonna continue to win. Hopefully, and that's the truth. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you.